Hey everybody, Jay from Jay's Rants. Just remember this video, or in all my videos, are supposed to make you laugh, make you think about yourself, maybe become a better person. Today we're going to talk about going out to eat. Everybody does it, at least I hope you do. Stimulate the economy, help people get money. It's kind of like the whole thing about commerce. And, uh, you know, helping each other out, because you give me food, I'm happy, I give you money. So make sure you do that every once in a while. Help some people out. There's people out there that, you know, need your money, and you can get something out of it, besides just stuff. Food. Food's good. Obviously, I'm fat, so I like food. Uh, but anyway, let's set the stage. Wife, young man, little guy, we go out, usually at least once or twice a weekend. Breakfast, lunch, not really lunch, probably brunch, depending on when my wife gets up, because, you know, sometimes that's like 10, 11 o'clock, so that turns into brunch. Uh, makes me hangry. I do get hangry. I'm on like a schedule. I'm like, I'm, I'm weird. Re really weird. Like, you could set your clock by when I eat. But, you know, it works for me. So, don't judge. I mean, you're going to judge, but whatever. I don't care. Um, so, getting up, going to breakfast. Local spot we typically go to. Walk out of the house, put the little man in his car seat. He's all ready to rumble, ready to eat because he's growing like a weed. And I can't believe how big he's getting, but that's another story. Um, drive to said local restaurant walk in looking it is packed i mean packed as in you're waiting 10 minutes to get a table because they're busy obviously it's happens to be a sunday a lot of people go to breakfast on sunday you know after church before church i don't know if you go to breakfast before church i think that's kind of like a faux pas I'm not sure i haven't really done that church or on to breakfast before church um but yeah so it's busy no problem we walk in, little sparrow on my shoulder because it's such a beautiful day. He just, you know, sits on my shoulder. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Go enjoy your breakfast with your wife and son. Hope you have a great day. And he just flies off. See you, bro. Thought it was kind of nice. So, you know, it's set up for a perfect Sunday. A sparrow sits on my shoulder. What, what else do you need? Beautiful wife, beautiful kid, breakfast, sparrow. Bing! I'm in a good mood. We walk in, put our name. Hey, it's going to be five or ten minute wait. Not a problem. I'm okay with that. Because I've learned throughout my life that sometimes you got to wait for stuff. Instant gratification isn't in everything. If you think it is, you're some kind of special, let's say. Anyway, sit down at the table. Boom. Waitress comes over. Hey, we're kind of busy, just so you know. It might take a little bit. Hey, not a problem. We're here to relax and eat a lovely breakfast at your establishment. Not a problem. You do your thing. <clears throat> Table behind us. I'm assuming a mother. Not sure. Two young children. Doing a little cheerleading thing, it looks like. Because when they got up to use the bathroom, I saw their little cheerleader competition thing. Cool, man. Good for you. Good for you. And, uh, you know, I hear mom start complaining to the kids. We've been here for 30 minutes and we haven't gotten our food yet. We're in a rush. We got to get to the competition. That's a really old lady voice. She wasn't that old. She was not, no. That's like 80s, 70s. So, just imagine. Put it in your head. I, I, I don't know. It's early. I, I can't really grasp that one yet. Or whatever. I don't know. Just, yeah. So, she's complaining. Well, we got here at X time, and it's been 25 minutes, and we haven't gotten our food yet. I'm thinking to myself. Yeah, because it's busy. The entire restaurant is packed. Do you think there's like a magical extra chef that pops out of somebody's rear end and, hey, let me help cook because it's busy. No, there's just the same amount of staff and there's probably less staff than normal because of everything that went on in the United States and around the world lately. So sit down and shut up. <gasps> Said shut up. I can say shut up. That's okay for kids. So, you know, I just mind my own business because, you know, my wife... She wants me to focus on her and little man, which I am, because I'm hanging out with little man. We're playing on the table. He's, you know, trying to throw my fork on the floor, like always, you know, and uh, my napkin and smacking me with the menu and stuff the kids do, which is kind of cute, but, you know, I guess. So, lady comes over to waitress and drops off the table behind us food. Oh, thank you. We're in a rush. Can you please get us the check? Because we'll have to eat quick and run. Waitress, absolutely no problem. Sorry for the delay. Very pleasant. They're sitting there eating, ba-ba-ba, and 
you know, as they're eating their meal, and I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on my wife. We're having a stimulating conversation. I'm not going to tell you about what, because that's husband-wife stuff. Uh-huh, sneaky, sneaky, trying to find out. But, um, yeah, so they're eating or whatever. Next thing you know, the lady starts complaining again. I don't have any napkins. We only had three napkins, and I gave you mine, and now I don't have any napkins. And blah, 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 napkin, napkin, napkin. And You know what? You have two choices. Either stand up and walk over to the hostess station, which is right there, and grab some dang napkins. Or use your pants. That's what men do. I use my pants. If I don't have a napkin, you reach down to your ankle and you rub it on your sock or on the bottom of your pants. Because nobody looks there anyway. It's not a big deal. That's a tip. Guys, you're not using that? Ladies? I mean, you can use it too. Screw it. It's 2022. Everybody can use my tips. Well, I mean, not everybody might tip. Let's go on. Um, you can use the bottom of your pants to clean stuff off your hands. Dirty-minded people, you. So, me, trying to be a better person, grabbed six of the napkins that are on our table because we were smart, you know, intelligent, up in the brain, using the noodle. When the lady came over to give us our drinks, she goes, do you need anything else? Yes, we have a small minion. Little man's here. We're going to need some napkins, hon. Granted, we bring a towel with us, too, but not like a beach towel. Like a little hand towel. Don't go, don't go nuts, okay? Uh, but yeah, hey, can we get some extra napkins? Because we're going to need them. Kid makes a mess sometimes. Sometimes I make a mess too, but let's go with the kid. So I politely grab like six of my napkins and just lead them behind me. Don't even turn around because I know it'll start a conversation that I don't want to have and my wife will get mad at me. Here's your napkins. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. We're in a rush. You're welcome. Moral of the story, folks, is don't be in a rush. If you're going to eat, relax. Take your time. Enjoy it. That's what you're there for. You're paying good money to sit there, enjoy the food, and relax. If you're in a rush, you only got 45 minutes before you got to get the cheerleading practice or a cheerleading competition or whatever, then don't go to freaking breakfast. Stop at Taco Bell. That's what they're there for. Quick. Stop at Wawa. That's what they're there for. Quick. Little country market you got around the house. They make little breakfast sandwiches. There's a great one around my house. My wife doesn't like it because it smells like deli meat. It's a freaking deli, hon. It's going to smell like deli meat. Duh. Anyway, stop there. Don't walk into a restaurant and ask the lady, chop, 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 chop. I got to go. I got to go. Take your time. Enjoy it. Relax with the people around you. That's it. That's all I got for you. It's just a quick one. Take your time. Slow down. If you're going out to eat, enjoy it. Hopefully, when you go out to eat with whoever you go with, Little Sparrow sits on your shoulder and says, Hey, have a great breakfast. See you later.